Today, let's talk about how to reduce your file size down when you're saving a PDF in Illustrator and InDesign. Hello there, I'm Rob Moore, and yeah, we are talking about the fun-filled topic of saving PDFs today. So if you're anything like me when I first started out, when I would save a PDF, it would be ridiculously massive. And we're not talking about 25 meg, which is way too big. We're not talking about 100 meg, which is also way too big. I'm talking about when I used to save files and they come out at two gig in size, which is just way too big. You can't send it to print and you definitely can't use it on web. So today, Let's talk about how to reduce the file size down to something more realistic, like two meg or five meg in that realm. So you're still retaining some good quality imagery and artwork whilst keeping the file size down nice and low. Firstly, I just wanna say I'm really sorry for the lack of content the past few weeks. Turns out it's been quite busy. So I got married. That happened, and I turned 30 as well, so it was, uh, it's all just been a bit of a blur. It's all happened, and I'm still here on the other side of it, and especially with everything that's going on, it's been a little bit stressful. But yeah, all done, happy, married, older, it's happened. So yeah, let's talk about PDFs. So, you might be wondering, why is it that when I'm saving my PDFs in Illustrator and in InDesign, that my files are coming out humongous, massive, well, there's normally two reasons for this. Normally, if you're creating vector artwork in Illustrator, it's because you've got too many anchor points. If it's a really intricate bit of artwork that you've created and there is millions of different anchor points on there, that will slow down your machine. That is the reason why that vector artwork is saving at such a large file. The workaround for this isn't by compressing it, isn't using this method I'm about to show you. The way to get around this with that is to save that vector artwork that's got those millions of different anchor points on there as an image format. So whether this be a PNG if it's for web or for JPEG if you're sending it for print, save it as that format and then replace that image over the vector artwork. So delete the vector artwork, put your vector image in there, making sure that you've saved the vector artwork before you do this, and then save it as I'm about to show you. The second reason why it's saving as a large file format is because probably you have got some seriously high resolution images on the artwork. So there's two workarounds with this. So you could put the imagery into Photoshop, do it properly and scale it down to the size that you need it. Or you can do the second method, which means that you're compressing that image when you're saving it as a PDF down to something more realistic like 300 dpi for print. So let's jump straight into it. In this example I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator but these principles are very similar in Adobe InDesign as well. So as you can see I have already set up a crocodile greetings card and let's pretend that we've tried to save this file already and for some unknown reason it's coming out at something ridiculous like 50 meg when you save it which is way too high. So let's pretend that we've saved this image as something like a 1200 dpi image to try and get that super sharp finish when as we know with print anything above 300 dpi will make no difference on a standard printer. So let's compress it. So in Illustrator, we are gonna to go to File, down to Save As. We are then gonna locate the folder that we want this to be saved in. So already got it. And always remember that before you do this, please just save the working file, which is what I've done here. That is saved. So if I wanna go back and make some changes, I can go back to the working file. I'm not trying to crack into a PDF. So in the drop-down menu, click Adobe PDF. If you're in InDesign, this will be Adobe Print PDF, not the interactive, and click Save. You're gonna have this new window pop up now, which is the generic PDF window when you're trying to save something in any Adobe software. And the first window you'll see is this one. So on this window, this is what I recommend changing. And some of this seems a bit backwards, especially if you're working with print, but it really will downscale that size. So first of all, Deselect Preserve Illustrator Editing Capabilities. And then this is the bit I'm on about is click Optimize for Fast Web Preview. Right, now that we've done that, we're gonna to go to on the left-hand side of this window, click Compression. And we're going to ignore the two down the bottom, but what we're gonna do now is click on Color Bitmap Images, click on the drop-down, and click on Average Down Sampling 2. On this, we'll see these new little sections that have popped up. And then on the first PPI, put that 
as 300. You'll notice straight away as soon as you do that, it'll also populate the second part as well. That's perfect. It'll also populate it as compression to zip on the next bit down. What I would normally do is go to automatic JPEG and then you'll have another part with image quality. Click on minimum. Depending on how big the file is coming out, you'll be able to see as soon as you save this. Either go for maximum or high. High will be absolutely fine. You might see a bit of the image degrade a little bit, but let's say maximum. Let's click it on maximum and then we don't need to touch the rest. And also keep compressed text and line art on and that's fine. If you're saving this for print, always make sure that you've got your marks and bleeds. So you should have your document bleed on there. So click that three millimeters and just select trim marks as well. If you want to see a full video about this, click the link in whatever top corner that it's in and you'll be able to see the video on how to add crop marks and bleed. I've just basically covered it there. So now that's that done, you've got your compression. You've deselected the editing capabilities and just click save. It's now gonna pop up a window that's saying that obviously you've deselected the editability of the file, which you know of. You've got your working file saved, so you're good to go. Click okay, and it's done. And depending on the size of the artwork that you've got, this could take a few seconds or it could take a few minutes. If you've got a massive file, something such as 1200 DPI, it's gonna take a little bit of time and it's gonna make your machine work, but your file size should have massively dropped down. And that's it. That is how you do it. That is how you can press your artwork down. You can press those images in Illustrator and in InDesign. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't already, please like the video if you've liked it. If you found it really useful and you've got some comments, leave a comment. And please, if you wanna see more videos, every single week, they will be every week going forward, I promise. Please subscribe to the video and click the little bell and it will mean the world. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.